My name is Daryl Plant. Imagine you're a 12 year old nerd. And I suspect that for a lot of the people here tonight, that's not a big stretch of the imagination <laughs> or just memory. <laughs> um, this is a, you know, a 40, but really imagine you're a 40, a 40 years ago, you're a 12 year old nerd. There wasn't any of the things that you have to glue yourself together. There are no phones, no, uh, no uh, cell phones, no internet, no Facebook, none of the glues that you could use to seek out new nerds and new nerd civilizations. There was TV, there was movies, but you did these things yourself. You didn't really, you were alone. You were alone doing those things. You couldn't really uh, do those things with other people. <clears throat> by the, um, by the late, uh, mid-70s, TV had two... T Two TV shows, or three TV shows. There was uh, Planet of the Apes, Six Million Dollar Man, for, for nerds, I mean, nerd TV shows. And they were, uh, they were on opposite each other. <clears throat> there was, you could talk about movies, you could talk about films, you could talk about the uh, TV shows, but really, the only nerd interaction you got was chess. And chess was a big uh, increase in nerd interaction, but... Um, <laughs> There was Scrabble, where Scrabble, you could have lots more interaction, but still, you've only got four nerds there. Then, sometime in the early 70s, uh, some older nerds got together and started introducing um, fantasy stuff into their miniature, um, miniature uh, war games and sorcerers and stuff. I think they were probably high. And then... <laughs> then that sort of collided with uh, people taking on, instead of armies and uh, squads, they took on individual roles, which sort of brought the uh, role of, uh, of games that used the dice to, to um, do the uh, numbers crunching together with the Barbie and, um, <coughs> and uh, other stuff. I'll just skip over that. Anyway... <laughs> So, D&D uh, &D hit for me at a perfect time. I was, a, I was a freshman in high school. A friend of mine and I, we scraped together five bucks a piece to buy the original boxed set of Dungeons and Dragons, um, which, you know, came with a lot of stuff. But there was no, the rules didn't tell you actually how to play the game. You sort of had to be initiated into the game. Um, otherwise, you were as lost as, say, a mage in the Temple of the Frog. Um, a <laughs> little early D&D &D reference there. Um, but the, the rules had no information about exactly what went on during the game. Um, they were still oriented toward a, uh, a uh, heavily uh, miniatures thing. Uh, the, uh, the ochre jelly here moved three inches. Doesn't sound too scary. There was no dungeon master. The, dungeon, the, the person who ran the game was called a referee, and I put together a little photo illustration here so that you could see how that would work out. <clears throat> But, um, you know, there was a lot of stuff going on. There, were, there was the big Gen Con game that came out in uh, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Um, much bigger now than it was back then. But uh, a lot of stuff that was uh, coming out, and these are sort of hard to see. These are some of the many, many things that were available through the bookstore that I worked at uh, in the early 70s or early 80s. And um, the, uh, <clears throat> this is a piece that I wrote for the Dragon Magazine in 1979 when I was a high school senior about uh, a very trenchant, um, I think, uh, satire about high school cliques. <clears throat> and then in 1979, I, or 1982, I got a uh, call from the children's librarian at the uh, public library in Springfield to come give a talk about... Um, about D&D uh, &D to a bunch of kids. And uh, here's me in my uh, <laughs> really scary looking, really scary looking uh, uh, panda bear t-shirt. <clears throat> but I got, a, I got a notice the week beforehand that this youth pastor wanted to come and give a big long talk about uh, how uh, you were gonna be sucked into the devil's maw by playing Dungeons and Dragons. I wrote to, I wrote to TSR to try and get some help. Uh, this is Gary Gygax's uh, letter back to me saying, well, sorry, we don't know what to do. 
Um, but just, I just wanted to say that uh, D&D was like one of the first ways for nerds to get together to do things in a cooperative sense rather than a competitive sense. And um, it's 40 years ago, um, and I'd like to say, I'm Daryl Plant. Have a good night. <laughs>